because we are at the Black Film Showcase here in Phoenix, and yes. it's all about independent films, creativity. What do you tell them when they're trying to get into this industry? Is there a recipe for it? I don't think there's a recipe. I okay. think that you have to be born with a specific talent. Okay. I think that it has to be a God gift. I don't think that you can, uh, w you know, you can't just sort of wake up and say, hey, you know, this is what I want to do. You have to innately know uh, mm -hmm. uh, writing. You have to innately know um, acting. You have to innately know how to move a camera. And these are things that uh, artists just are born with. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. just can't, you, that's, that's the first thing. I mean, okay. because otherwise you can just, you can throw out slop. <clears throat> Uh, but to be an artist, you have to. It's something that you just are born with. You can, you can craft it. But okay. I think that it's it. That's the first and foremost things. And, and I think that. Uh, but there are many people that are born with that talent that uh, just uh, go to the wayside. That don't really um, fertilize they don't hone it. Into it? Okay. No, and I you no, know, and I think that they've been beaten down. The second part of that is once you know that you have the talent, and you know that you have the talent. Mm -hmm. If you know that you have the talent, uh, then it. You know, how do you go away from your parents telling you no? Uh uh. You okay. are no. Mm -mm. You're going to be a lawyer. You're going to be a policeman. You're going to do that. You know, what do you, how do you break the conventionality of, uh, of what it is that society says is the norm for making money? Okay. So you have to stick with what it is that you believe in. So then it's following your dream when you know you have the talent. Okay. So it's knowing innately that you have the talent and following a dream because if, like my daughter, Mm -hmm. wants to be an actress and I go no okay. but I just know the pain that comes with it and yeah. I, it's 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 uh, and it breaks my heart to know that she could be possibly rejected ever mm -hmm. in life it, what it does to the psyche you know what I mean and I, I understand. This, so it's it's so it's really bucking the, and I'm contradicting myself because of course I'm saying that I bucked my parents mm -hmm. and yet <laughs> and yet I'm telling her no <laughs> right now so then after that um, honing your skills, just knowing that there are always going to be more people that are far more talented than you. Mm -hmm. Know that. Okay. You know, and so that means you have to be on your skill and on top of it. And, uh, and then that a little bit with aggressiveness, making sure that uh, you just don't take no for an answer, that you continue on with, uh, you know, no is not in my world. Okay, it's not in your vocabulary. No, no, I can't deal with that. You know. Well, let me ask you this. Mm. When did you know that you had the talent and the drive to make this your job? I knew uh, at five when I would uh, write poems and then sell them. Because it's not just about your artistry. Uh -huh. It's about that hustle, too. Okay. But, and then so I would write like poems or draw pictures. At five years then, old? Yes, and then sell them to the people, sell them to my cousins for a nickel and the dime. You were so a hustler. It was hustling, That's you know? awesome. Yes, it's not just about the art, it's also about the art. I gotta do a movie about that, art mm -hmm. hustle. There you go. <laughs>